Good day guys, this is Lukayan Bulls TV and today we are talking about breeding towards your vision for the American Bully. That is a load of crap, okay? Um, that's one of the biggest detriments to this breed today. Uh, people feel like their vision is what the uh, American Bully should be and we obviously know that uh, we here at Lukayan Bulls TV um, promote and bring awareness to breeding towards the standard okay that's what the standards are there for it's the rules uh, for us to obey in our programs and in our breeding practices that's what it's there for okay we have a whole lot of uh, new people coming into this breed all the time the breed is gaining popularity and when people say I'm breeding towards my vision, this guy is breeding towards his vision, and, and Joe Schmo is breeding towards his vision. You're confusing people, and that's a part of why I share so much about what I think the American Bully should be based on the standards, because there are so many different people that are confused because they see different looks, and they're trying to figure out which one is the American Bully. And if it is, why do the other dogs look different from said vision okay um you have dogs like grim like beanstalk like the incredible hulk like samurai paco and these all these dogs all look different but the thing is they all are breeding towards their vision the only real question is which one is the american bully and i guess if i would actually think about it um, I'm going to go probably with the one that's produced, um, six of, uh, his blood is in six out of at least probably the last 12, um, ABKC national champions. That's what I'm going to go with. I am here today to tell you that there is one standard and our dogs should pretty much look the same. Um, with small differences uh, based on someone wanting a slight difference or enhancement in certain features. Um, maybe a particular bloodline or strain focusing more on head shape or someone that would be more uh, particularly known for uh, their balance and movement. You know, w w whatever you can come up with, but it's still all supposed to go back to the American Bully Standards written by the ABKC, okay? So I'm going to put up those pic the pictures of those dogs that I, that I mentioned, or maybe we'll probably use some other dogs, but so you can see, this is what happens when you have a community of people, and I'm talking about thousands of people, probably tens of thousands of people breeding towards their vision for what an American Bully is. We definitely need more unity on what the breed should be. And at this point, you know what, scratch that. We need separation of this breed. The American Bully, and probably like someone suggested the other day, the American Bully Terrier. I love it, okay? Um, but... Uh, this is something that we have been talking about for a while on Facebook. Um, a lot of people are always um, putting this up. Oh, you guys should stop arguing and just breed towards your, um, your own vision for the breed. You should just focus on your own program, focus on your own yard. And for me, uh, I see that as I'm trying to find the word to say here because for me, it, it, it's almost like people that don't want to be accountable. Um, me focusing on my own yard means that I have to be more isolated. And um, I would like to be with a group of like-minded people that have the breed's best interest at heart, which is why we preach so much about the American bully standards. The last reason that we want to stick to the breed standards and not our vision is because we already have too many people um, 
breeding a lot of unhealthy dogs. We know that the American bully, um, to be honest with you, still needs, I feel like, more genetic diversity. But a lot of people are breeding now nothing like what the American bully was supposed to be. And for every example of a dog that is not bred towards the standards, they are basically saying that the dogs have evolved. And that has been, you know, part of the big excuse for everything that's being bred. They are calling everything that was standard um, pit bulls. And if your dog is not carrying some extreme level of bulldog phenotype, they are not calling it an American bully. Okay? But uh, please, tell me what you guys think. Um, it's a discussion we always have. And I always used to think that there are things that discussions that we need to stop having. But as long as there's new people coming and there's um, and there's other people that disagree, um, we always keep have to have um, to keep having discussions to figure out what is the best solution for the American bully. And the best thing right now seems to be the separation of the American bully. Okay, so I appreciate you guys for tuning in every week. Um, couldn't have this channel without you guys, so stay tuned. I will see you next week.